What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kubo Cool because we are back at the mall, you guys. And the reason why we're back at the mall, primarily trying to do some investigating, you guys. I'm trying to get information regarding the Carmine Sixes. We are hearing a lot of reports that uh, a lot of them are just jacked up. So yeah, so I'm here to talk to a few people about that. And another thing is the Jordan 5 answer side. I need to get information regarding that. I haven't gotten any calls from Shoe Palace. And yeah, I'm kind of curious on if they push their date back too. Uh, it is still showing up as a sneakers release for tomorrow, but Full Locker pushed theirs back and pretty much every other retailer's pushed it back too. So yeah, I need to get some information guys. So yeah, let's look around, look for deals. And let's also get information about these Jordans. All right, time to do some Dick Tracy work, you guys. Let's get that info and find them deals. All right, let's see what's going on at the shoe palace, you guys. Get information about the anthracite fires. I think they actually made phone calls. Maybe I just didn't win. I don't know. All right, not too much interesting stuff yet, but there is a space, and that's going to be interesting on what they put there. You got a couple of mids because that space is going to be filled with the mid. I think uh, I think they're getting it right when I got here, so that's going to be interesting. I will post it on my Instagram because I think people will want that one. All right, so we are checking the sales section right here. And look what we got here, you guys. These look okay, but they're $10. Freaking $10, you guys. It is some sort of collab, so it was normally a buck ten. It's a stamped Clyde, and now it's down to ten freaking dollars. That's insane. Dang, so some sort of collab. That's actually kind of cool. It is a size, what is it, an adult size six? I don't know. They got it over. It says a UK seven, so I think that's a six and a half or something. I don't know. So yeah. Cotton nanos, all black with a gum. That's a size eight. That's a hell of a deal, cause man, they use some good material on this. That's some good stuff. It isn't a Nike box. What the hell is up with that? Oh, got some of the uh, what are these? The the Cat Five drips. Okay, these are going for thirty dollars. Uh, thirty nine ninety eight. These normally go for what eighty dollars or something like that. Got some of these more Cat Fives. Uh, yeah, got these go for what twenty dollars? Okay. Oh, oh, this is the Shoe Palace collab. And these normally went for 90 bucks. These are down to 50. Like, and, and this this looks like it's a check check 70 bottom, dude. That's dope. That's dope. Normally 90 bucks down to 50. All right, we are back in the Jordan section because we do got a couple interesting things now that weren't here before. I don't think these were here before. Did I miss it? But yeah, do you got these the reverse spread? I think these are the reverse spread, or are these called the bands? I don't know. But yeah, the color blocking on this is different. So, um, but yeah, not bad. Not bad, I know these have been selling out. And then they just released this today. Just released this today. I'll put this on my Instagram. But yeah, yeah, man, they just released these. I know these have been selling out extra quick. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll post all that stuff on there because that's what you guys want. Not seeing too many sales. Do you see some of those ray gun things? I don't know, I haven't done any research, but where did this, where did this ray gun thing come from? Because they're adding the ray gun thing onto everything. Like they look okay, but I don't know, nothing super dope. I don't know, that's just that's just my thoughts. Wait, they never have Nike basketball here. What's going on here? 90 bucks for these? That's the first time I've ever seen Nike basketball here. That's crazy. We got some Hirachis going for 100. Nothing too crazy. They got a sale on that, but not that one. Even though that's going for $70, that's, that's funny. These are going for 50. They've been at that price for a while. All right, we are going to wrap it up. Let's go check out the next one, guys. Let's go check out the next one. All right, next stop, let's go see what's up with this Foot Locker. See what's up. All right, we did get some information about this, some of the upcoming Jordans. We'll talk about that later. Let's look at the shoes, and then at the end of the video, we'll talk about all the different news that I did find. Got quite a lot of info. Oh, man. But I'm going to regret not getting these, man. I'm going to regret it because, yeah, I'm, I'm such a fan of the material on these. these like, the suede is so nice. I'm going to regret it, watch. But I just, there's too many Jordans that I want, man. My collection just getting crazy. Hopefully my collection videos should be coming out today. That's my goal, we'll see. By today, the day you guys get this video. But yeah, we got these. These are the Coming to America Blazers. Hella interesting. I think I kind of prefer the Ben Simmons ones over this one. And material, what kind of material is it? I don't know, like a textile material, okay. Those still on sale. We've seen those go for hella cheap. Now they've gone up in price. I think it has to do with shipment, I'm telling you. They got two of the Airmora temples right there. Not bad, dude. Those aren't bad. I kind of prefer the bottom one, but 
The colors ain't working for me for either of those, to be honest. So even those, I think they were priced cheaper. I, th I think they just don't want empty shelves. I think that it's like that with all the stores, pretty much. Well, this is interesting. I've never seen this colorway. One of the newer colorways of the Zoom Freak 2. Buck 20, not too bad, not too bad. The sibling right there on sale, been on sale for a cool minute now. The Zoom Mox, we've seen these on sale. I think it's like a trail walking shoe or hiking shoe or something like that. Okay, not bad. Normally a buck twenty, so it is on sale. It's just not my cup of tea, to be honest. Bo Jackson's going for eighty bucks, and yeah, these go for sixty. Okay, like the fake, fake zoom types. <laughs> yeah, normally goes for ninety down to sixty. All right, looks pretty comfortable. Do got a couple of daybreaks. That one's on sale, and this one like the it's a little less holy, a little less meshy. So like. It might be less cool, it might be a little bit warmer, but yeah, this is an interesting one. Have a Nike Day one? I don't know. I haven't seen this one. Okay, going for a hundred bucks. I'd buy a little steep for day breaks, to be honest. But yeah, they look dope. Super surprised to see these here, Chinese New Year's. Yeah, this looks like a bigger size though. Not a crazier size, maybe a 10? Maybe a 10. Well, like I said, a 10 and a half. Okay, so not bad. Not bad. Great to see retros around, man. I'm a huge fan of that. Nothing too crazy. It's fun to see these Black History Month there. Black History Month 95s. We saw that at the Clearance Center. Vapor Max on sale. We've seen that on sale quite a few times. Then we got the Air Max Plus, but that's that's kind of about it right now. Yeah. Damn, this is kind of disappointing. Like like this this Foot Locker usually has dope sales, but I think everybody's struggling on everybody's struggling on getting shipments and stuff. So um, yeah, not the biggest sales right now. And and it's like that. I think it's like that everywhere. I think it's like that everywhere. We're definitely gonna find out tomorrow because I'm gonna be heading out to so many spots tomorrow. So we'll we'll see if it's the same. We'll see if it's the same. We are in the women's section. Got these bad boys, but we've seen it at this price. All white. You can't go wrong with all white, to be honest. Stan Smith's on sale. Super huge. This is the women's section, by the way. We got the couple of disc wraps right there. Got the boots. Were these the same price as like two weeks ago when we came? I think it was two weeks ago when I came. To be honest, nothing, nothing too interesting. And it's not really their fault here. It's just that, like I don't think anybody's getting shipments, so nobody wants empty shelves. All right, let's let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. I'll get you guys the info at the end of the end of the video. There is a lid. There is a line though. We're gonna try it later because. Yeah, they did have some crazy sales, like $10, $15 for hats. Most of them were adjustable, which I don't really mess with. Uh, maybe it might be worth the wait. It might be worth the wait. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Of course, we got to check out the hats on sale. They do have a nice little sale. Right? That's pretty dope. Damn, they got the Dodgers World Championship hats on sale. 15 bucks. These are like kind of like the Flex Fits. I don't know. I don't know what, uh, what New Era calls their stuff. But yeah, this is... This is dope. These are, uh, like I'm a huge fan of these hats. That's dope. Got those in that color as well. The small, mediums. They got a few different sizes. Got fitted hats for 25. That's an eight though. Oh my god, that's a huge head. Damn, dude. I thought I had a huge head too. Normally 46 down to 25. More of those flex fit type of hats. The small, medium, medium, large too though. So we got a few sizes down to 20 dollars. Normally 37. So that's pretty dope for the Green Bay fans. Got some Raider gear. 10 dollars. Same hat, that's dope, dude. That man got some steel. Philly going for a little bit more. Number 37 down to 30. Why are the Philly ones so much more? And who bent that rim, dude? Like that one's straight, that one's bent. More Packers gear. And 20 bucks. That's not bad. Almost half price. Do you got the nets? You guys want to jump on the bandwagon with the nets? Go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, this is what 25? $25 normally 38. So okay. This is the other sales rack. Oh, and they got one on the side too. They didn't have one like that before. Damn, they got some dope stuff here. Lakers. That's a dope. 25 bucks, normally 44. They got a bunch of sizes. Seven and a quarter, seven and a half, seven and eight. Okay. I think my size is seven and three. Seven and three eighths, I think. Yeah, seven and three eighths. Oh, there's my size right there, dude. 25 bucks um yeah let me let me check the inside is black right there because that place like i sweat like crazy so yeah hmm, hmm let's think about that more lakers gears this is, these are snapbacks 25 for these 25 for these that's dope that 
the LeBron James one with the king hat on. That's pretty dope. The king crown on it. That's pretty dope. Clippers with a city pack. 25 for those. It's a snapback. This one's pretty dope. The USA colorway. Lakers. That's a snapback. That's a snapback as well. I don't know the price on this one though. $20 for that one. Oh, that's what's up. Man, this is actually really dope right here. Kind of like a carbon fiber print to it. I don't, it's like a plasticky hat. I don't know what material this is. I don't know. But yeah, 30 bucks for this. Normally 55. 55. That's dope, dude. It is a snapback. Not a huge fan of the snapbacks. I guess I'm kind of bougie with the hats, huh? Raiders and Niners gear? That's pretty dope, dude. Dang. I'm going to have to come back for these. I don't really want to have right now, but um, yeah, if I can find a really good deal on this, that's pretty dope. $30. Normally, what? 43 44 okay it's a little discount it's like one of those flex fit hats 25 for that interesting i've never seen this one these are down to 20 medium large oh the flex fit things 25 for that so you got some ram stuff 25 25 raiders gear raiders 25 for that one this is like that flex fit stuff right there if you want to be like john gruden with the visor 25 bucks Twenty dollars for that one. I think that's about it. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Let's go check out the next part. Let's go into the champs right here. See what's going on with the champs. No line. We did. We did go with the Jordan Four. I think this is the Crimson. I don't even know what that these are called. But yeah, these are called by hundred dollar Jordans. You don't. You just don't see that too much anymore. I got these at Shoe Palace too for hundred bucks. And shorts and t-shirts. That's that's the usual for me. Yeah, I'm looking around. A dearth, a dearth of heat, dearth of deals. Just, just not much, you guys. Not much at all. I don't even know if I'm gonna talk about anything in here. To be honest, there's just there's just nothing here. Nothing here, you guys. Not, nothing regarding this place. It's just right now things are just kind of dry, dude. All right, last stop, you guys. JD Sports. I actually even walked into the kids' locker. Didn't really see anything. So. um yeah, there's just not much today. But yeah, we, we will be talking about all the releases and stuff. I did get a lot of information on that. So we will talk about that at the end of the video, guys. When I get home. Dang, there's just, there's just not much, you guys. Music's hella loud. But other than that, they just don't got much at all, you guys. Not much at all. Yes, they got these. The Revealers Food Games. They got these bad boys. They got the Starfish 13s. Oh, these are on sale now. The PG4, the Clippers colorway. This was not on sale last week when we stopped by a few stops. Of course, the rest of the stuff, always on sale. Ric Flair is really growing on me. These are growing on me. These are dope. Dope. All right, we are in the women's section now. This is kind of like the only stuff on sale right now. Do you got the Future Riders on sale. Pretty decent price. Normally, they're what? These are normally 60? Oh, this is a kids. I thought it was women. My bad, I'm tripping. So yeah, $15 off of this, $15 off of those as well. These Pumas got a little sale going on, but that's kind of about it. To be honest, nothing, nothing dope on sale. Wait, that is kind of interesting. I think this is just toddlers though. I don't even... It doesn't even look great, so I think this is a toddler, so it usually sits. But I think that's about it. That's the only dope thing here. Um, yeah, that's about it. Dang, they're doing the recycled on everything. Um, Air Force One. I've never seen this version of the recycled material. Okay, I think that's about it. All right, the kids, the kids Ultra Boost got a little sale on that. The NMD is the same price. Why wouldn't you get the Ultra Boost? I don't know. I think the Ultra Boost is just so much better. Okay, full length boost here. Go for sixty. This is that weird ZX2K boost. The weird name. Still got these in the kids section. That's actually pretty dope. If you're if you're a woman, you got a small small feet. That's dope. That's dope. Air Max 2090s on sale. Got a couple of my sale on the kids sizes. So I guess the kids section does have a few sales here and there. These bad boys also on sale. All right. Women section. You got a little. You got a little dope thing here. Okay. Okay. Blazers materials. I'm I'm a huge fan of that material. I keep talking about these shadows, man. Hopefully I can find these at the outlet one day. Man, these are, I'm a huge fan of this. This is a women's section. But yeah, this is dope. I'm, I'm a fan of the material, just the look. I like the, the double of everything. That's just dope. These go for $60 off. So you got some Air Max 97. This, this is the one that totally reminds me of the Neon Soul colorway. 
And they came out with the um, Air Max from the different cities. All black one, these are pretty dope. Pretty dope. I'm a fan of all black usually. Got a little sale on this one. I've never seen this colorway. What the heck? It's like, ooh, the, the, the color changes depending on where you're looking at. That's actually pretty dope. Pretty dope. Normally a buck 70 down to 125. Slight sale on the Air Max 2090s. And by slight, I mean not that big. React 270s, got a couple of those on sale. $60 off for these. These are the Vapormax 360s. React Vision's on sale. And then the NMDs, but yeah, that's about it. That's really about it today, not much. Yeah, we're gonna wreck it up. We, we are gonna have a lot to talk about when I get home. So yeah, let, let's talk about all the stuff when I get home. I just wanna talk about, um, like whenever you wear Jordans and you walk by the sneaker cleaning people, like they're always saying, hey, let me let me talk to you but it's just kind of funny all right when we get home let's talk about all the info we found about, about the new releases all right you guys that was the northridge mall that was just uh yesterday for you guys since i won't be releasing this uh until tomorrow morning the stores were all of the stores were kind of um the prices were kind of meh like like they they just weren't that great um, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that just a lot of them aren't getting shipments. It doesn't seem like a majority of them are getting very many shipments right now. So um, you just can't have empty shelves. Like, like that's just, you can't do that in retail. So, so they'd rather sell a few less things and have the place for retail. You do have to remember that a majority of the customers that do come in, they're not really sneakerheads. Like they just, they're just casual sneaker buyers. Like, you know, everybody has to buy sneakers here and there. So uh, they might not have that much heat, but they're, they're still gonna sell sneakers. You know what I'm saying? They're still gonna sell sneakers. Even if the prices aren't super low, they're still gonna sell sneakers in there. So that's kind of where they're at right now. They're just kind of staying afloat. And then when they get more dope stuff, then obviously sales are gonna go up and whatnot. I did talk to quite a few workers there. Um, I actually spent more time talking to people than actually vlogging this time, which I don't do too often. But, um, but apparently uh, I am getting to know quite a few people and whatnot. And, and a lot of that just starts with just talking to people every time I go just talking to people and then they recognize you and then you know you can ask for a little bit more info instead of you know going to a random stranger and saying hey what's going on with such and such and whatnot so so it is easier to talk to people the more you get to know them I did ask about the anthracite fives um, I think only one store in that mall is getting the anthracite fives um, the, the shoe palace they have not gotten their shipments yet it does look like uh, they haven't called their people so um, I, I didn't get in on that raffle, but I did get in in raffles at other shoe palaces, so uh, maybe I still do have a chance. It does look like it will be releasing tomorrow morning, right when uh, this this video comes out. But uh, Foot Locker did uh, push their date back as well, so uh, make sure you guys check that calendar. For the Carmine Sixes, I asked every worker possible regarding the Carmine Sixes. Not every store has received their uh, sneakers yet. Some of the sneaker shops have received the kid sizes, some have received the adult sizes, some have received both. The workers pretty much told me that uh, th there were a few issues here and there, but it doesn't look like... It was a majority of the shoes, so I guess all the speculation might have been incorrect or uh, might have been overblown because um, I did talk to all of the staff members at that mall and they did tell me, hey, um, it wasn't as bad as it's been reported. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and we'll see what happens. That is scheduled to release next week. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. I believe that's the 13th, which is a week from today. So so that's kind of cool. We did get updated information, uh, not from the stores, but we did get updated information from the Foot Locker app, as well as sneakers regarding some of the dunks and stuff like that. The dunks, it looks like sneakers is releasing those on the 18th of February. Foot Locker actually isn't releasing any of those in our neighborhood in Los Angeles. So uh, check all the flex apps. I believe they're all releasing under Champs in the Los Angeles area. JD Sports is also releasing those as well. They usually have in-store raffles. Um, I don't know how Finish Line does it. I forgot to check the Finish Line, but uh, I'll definitely be checking that. The Jordan 1 High 85 Neutral Grays, those are releasing in men's size as well as GS sizes. Uh, make sure you go ahead and check the Foot Locker app for that. There's only one store getting them, so we know they're going to be super, super rare. There are a couple Sheiks in Los Angeles. Those are all in-store digital raffles, so make sure you guys go ahead and visit those shops. Those are just going to be hella, hella tough. We know how Flex Points works and stuff, so... Um, you know, with, with the million points, I don't think I'm going to get them. I, I think you need to be up at like three, four million to, to get a guaranteed pair since they're only at the Jumpman LA store. 
So, uh, so that's kind of my guess on that, but I don't really know for sure, but that's my guess. And then the clot 14s, those just uh, came up on those just came up on the uh, Foot Locker app for, for the reservation program as well. So make sure you guys go check that out. Um, that's only releasing in one store as well. So I, I anticipate you're going to need a crap ton of points. So um, I, I, I'm going to try for it. And I already did. I actually did try for it already. But I, I, I don't anticipate getting them. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens, you guys. We'll see what happens. We do have a crazy week for releases this week. Make sure you go out, get as much information as you can. Go talk to the workers. Make sure you find out which stores are doing in-store raffles, which stores are doing um, digital raffles, that type of stuff. And, and, and make sure you guys go out and put that work in because, you know, the resellers are putting the work in. Collectors need to do the exact same if you guys want to compete and you guys want to get those for retail prices and whatnot. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I definitely hope this information was useful. I found it hella useful <laughs> getting all that information from the workers and stuff. I'm trying to pass along as much information to you guys as possible without burning my spots because, um, you know, I can't just say, hey, this worker said this at this store and that type of stuff. So that's kind of why I'm being vague and kind of providing the information at the end of the video instead of right after each store because i can't I, I just can't burn my bridges guys so um so yeah thanks so much for watching guys make sure you guys help your boy press that like button if you're new to the channel make sure you go ahead and press that subscribe button click on that notification bell as well because i do drop a whole lot of videos i think this information is super useful uh especially to all you collectors and resellers go out put that work in and and hopefully you're able to come up on some of these dope ass releases so yeah see you guys in the next one peace yeah.